Hi everyone, I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Friday, coming at you with 2021 Hit Parade uh, Autograph First Round Edition Football Jerseys, Autograph Football Jerseys Series 2. 10 box case break, random team number one. That's an example of what you can get out of here. Some of these, I think most of these jerseys are custom jerseys, um, meaning there's no like Adidas or, or Nike logo or whatever on it, but some of them are like the actual uh, retail jerseys that you can get. So a lot of good stuff. Each box is hand numbered. Each box contains a first round draft pick, which is pretty nice. You can chase Mahomes and Lamar Jackson, among others. Everyone gets a team in the NFL. If it's a collegiate uniform, it'll go the team they are on the longest if they're active, uh, or the team they're currently on if they're active, the longest team they played for if they are retired. Big thanks to this group of people right here for getting into the action. I appreciate it. And there are the teams right there. Let's assign you a team. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams four and a six ten times. Each one, two, three, four. Nine and tenth and final time after ten. We've got Colin all the way down to Tyler. Four and a six, ten times for the teams. One, two, three, four. And tenth and final time. After ten, we got the uh, bird team, Eagles, down to another bird team. Eagles down to Falcons. All right, Colin, you got the Fly Eagles, Fly Victor with the New York Football Giants, Peter with the Chiefs, Brian with the Packers, Colin with the Jets, Brian with the Colts, Jim with the Titans, Brian with the Cowboys, Colton with the Browns, Colin with the Vikings, Adam with the Saints, Brian with the Rams, Nick with the Steelers, Kurt with the Panthers, Oliver with the Washington Football Team, Sean with the Bears, Brian with the Texans, Sean with the Niners, Frank with the Ravens, Colin with the Broncos, Kevin with the Cardinals, Gail with the Chargers, Brian with the Bengals, Lee with the Dolphins, Peter with the Bills, Nick, you got my Raiders, Drew with the Seahawks, William with the Patriots, Nick with the Jags, Mike Tower with the Lions, Nick Stover with the Buccaneers, and Tyler Brenner with the ATL, with the Atlanta Falcons. Let's get all this on one screen, alphabetized by column B by team. And we're going to pause the video. We're going to allow for a little bit of trade chatter when we come back. We'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. BRB. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Um, there were no deals done. A, lot, a little bit of trade chatter, but no deals were done. So that list you saw right there uh, remains the same. The case is back here. And I know you don't see it here, but it says Hit Parade First Round Edition on here. So let's pop this open. saw in the uh, description so they only made a hundred of these and there's the first round edition sticker right there all right I'm actually gonna turn off the top camera because I uh, we're gonna play some lightning rounds of who am I and I don't want to reveal the Jersey a little too early on the top camera so we'll turn that off temporarily and since we've got 10 of these, we're going to kind of fly through these as quickly as possible. Alright. He's in his college gear here. 
I've played for two teams my entire career. Obviously, all these are first round picks. Quarterback drafted in 2019. Who's a quarterback drafted in 2019? Kind of in the middle round. From Ohio State. Yep, Ray's got it. Dwayne Haskins. That goes to Oliver. So he's in his Ohio State gear here. Maybe he can revive his... There's the autograph right on his familiar number seven. Maybe he can revive his career in... Uh, Custom jerseys right there. Revive his career in Pittsburgh. All right, so Oliver has the Washington football team. Next one. Actually, Ben, you're right. He's not retired. That's an active player, college jersey. Man. Sorry, Oliver. I know you really wanted that Dwayne Haskins. But that goes to Pittsburgh. Nick Stober with that one. Tyler, you might be lagging behind a couple of minutes. Make sure you're watching live. Yeah, Ben already pointed that out. It's my bad. All right, there you go. To the rightful owner. All right, next one. We have... Who are you? Is that his number right there? What is this jersey though? Oh, is that what that jersey looked like? Okay. All right, who am I? I am a retired running back out of Miami. Obviously, all these are first rounders. I was a first rounder, 23rd overall in the early 2000s. Played for one, two, three, four teams my entire career. Two-time Pro Bowler. Ended up with uh, 8,474 career rushing yards. 65 rushing touchdowns couple hundred uh, receptions and five receiving touchdowns and this is this version of this player is uh, is his original team who am I not Portis not Gore there you go Ben yeah Willis McGahey There you go. So I guess I didn't realize this. I was like, "What colors are these?" But twenty-one. This is this is his Bills colors right here. I guess they had those colors. If you look right here, forgot about those dark blue jersey days for the uh, for the Bills. So that's Bills edition going to Peter Lombardo and the Bills.
one. Good luck. Only two jerseys in of the ten. Keep, keep your thinking caps on. All right, here's an old school guy here. It's in his college gear, and he must have played for that team the longest, right? Yeah. Um, who am I? I was drafted in the late 60s, first overall. And in the NFL, I was the NFL Most Valuable Player, NFL Offensive Player of the Year in the early 70s, five-time All-Pro, five-time Pro Bowler, four-time rushing yards leader, two-time rushing touchdown leader, part of the 70s All-Decade Team, 75th Anniversary Team, 100th Anniversary Team, also won a Heisman, have a career over 11,000 rushing yards, and 61 career rushing touchdowns. Who am I? I also got into a little trouble in the 90s. Hey, what's going on, Thomas? No, Earl, Earl Campbell didn't get, get into this kind of trouble in the 90s. Yep, Sean and Ray's got it. Yeah, Ben's got it. Yep, the juice in his USC gear. This will go. He played for uh, played for the Bills the longest. So it'll, that's another one for Peter Lombardo. There's a Heisman inscription right there in his USC gear. Now, I'm, I'm far too young to really understand, like, the true impact of, like, the fall from grace. I mean, O.J. Simpson was beloved in L.A. And he was bona fide star, you know, so... But yeah, and then murder. <laughs> Wait, William saying, who rebuked LeBron on Twitter yesterday? OJ? I'm not sure if he's in the position to be rebuking anybody. <laughs> Mr. Juice. All right, we got another Hall of Famer here. All right. Go to this person. All right, so here's an old school guy from the NFC North, an old school um, defensive end, and he came out of uh, was born in Winston Salem, North Carolina, sixth overall pick in the early '60s. Played for two teams my entire career, but everyone remembers him on this one team. An NFL champion in the late 60s, six-time Pro Bowler, a Defensive Player of the Year. Played 225 games, Hall of Famer, Pro Football Hall of Famer, College Football Hall of Famer. Minnesota Vikings Ring of Honor, 1970s All-Decade Team. Who am I? Not, not Randall. The other one. There's a lot. There's a lot of great defensive players from this Minnesota team, but just start naming them off, and you'll eventually you'll hit on it. Uh, Vikings. That is for Colin McCarver. Has the Vikes. Yep, Fulmer's got it. Carl Eller. So there's his autograph right there. We got a Hall of Fame inscription on the number. Got all the, all of these have like a JSA or something like that. <laughs> no, Tyler, Randy Moss, Justin Jefferson did not get drafted in the late in the uh, 60s. 
I think mo all of these have been custom jerseys thus far. Yeah, they've just been custom jerseys thus far. Right, so I'll just leave those nicely folded in there, Colin, on the board. Next one. Good luck, everybody. These are all first rounders. All first rounders. All right, who are you? I think I'm in my Mississippi State uniform. What team did I play for the longest? Oh, that team. Oh. First round pick in the mid 90s. Three time Pro Bowler, two time second team All Pro. First time All SEC. Played for Mississippi State. I ended my career with 764 receptions, 9,995 receiving yards, and 49 receiving touchdowns. E Money was his uh, was his nickname. Six foot two, two hundred and twenty five pounds, twenty fourth overall in the first round out of Mississippi State. And it's another hit for the Bills, drafted by the Bills. I think you'll you'll remember his name once I say it. I'll just show you. It's in his Mississippi State gear. It's a uh, Eric Moulds. Remember Eric Moulds? So it's a Mississippi State custom jersey right here. There's his autograph right there. Dave and Adams authentication on that one. So that's he, he, he was drafted by the Bills. From, played from 96 to 2005 and then a little stint with the Texans, a little stint with the Titans. But a pretty pretty solid career. Another Bill, Peter Lombardo. Buffalo! Kevin remembers. Another first rounder. We're giving this away in a National Treasures break on jazbeescasebreaks.com, by the way, if you want to try to win that. It's pretty nice. You don't remember Eric Moulds, Ray? That's a first round pick. 24th overall by Buffalo. All right, next one. Ooh, this looks like a, an authentic jersey here. All right. I was a first round pick last year, late first round out of LSU, a defensive player. about your defensive players late late first round last year 2020 who am I I had uh, I had a hundred over a hundred tackles last year three sacks couple forced fumbles couple pass deflections an interception a defensive touchdown I think he was a little inconsistent last year but he's supposed to be really good yeah it's it's Patrick Queen for the Ravens Frank with that one it's a Fanatics jersey right there, too. There's his autograph. It's pretty solid penmanship. There's the Fanatics sticker. Queen on the back. Yeah, it's a Nike jersey. This might be worth taking a look at. So this is nice. So you get, so with the 
with the Nike jerseys, of course, you get all the licensed stuff. You get all the the logos, the Raven, the NFL shield. You know, the, the tag right here, I think it's a little bit bigger than, it's not game use, it's just an authentic jersey. It's got the, uh, the tags on there already. So pretty nice. So there you go. Frank Lupu has the Purple Birds. Nice. I mean, the Ravens are hoping that he's gonna he's gonna develop into a really nice sort of sideline to sideline linebacker. That's what they're looking for. All right. Next first rounder. Gonna be custom jersey. Oh, okay. He's in his college uniform. All right. Who am I? So remember, since he's in his college uniform, he's an active player. He'll go to the team that he's currently on. But back in 2011, he was a first-round running back. Who am I? Three-time Pro Bowler, a Heisman Trophy winner, a BCS National Champion, over 7,000 career rushing yards, 62 rushing touchdowns, 260 receptions. You can catch the ball a little bit, 10 receiving touchdowns as well. Goes to the team he's currently on because – but you're, you may be familiar with him with another team. I guess two other teams. And he played for uh, Alabama. Yep, Ben's got it. Mark Ingram, who's a Texan now. So he was he was drafted by the Saints, um, was there for a while, was with the Ravens for a couple of two or three seasons, and is now with the Houston Texans. And that's going to go to Brian Croft with Houston. He's in his college uniform right here. There's his autograph. You got a number inscription there. Mark Ingram's got his own own hologram sticker too. Nice. Mark Ingram's carved out a really nice career for himself. There you go, Brian with the Texans. Let's get the hit parade stuff in there too. All right, almost there. A few more jerseys to go. All right, who am I? Who are you? That's your number. That's. Oh, I guess they have it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, right, there's your autograph, I see. All right, who am I? I was a number one overall pick in the mid-80s. Played for one team my entire career. Pro Bowler, Heisman Trophy winner. All-American. Rushed for, uh, my career was cut short. Let's put it that way. My career was cut short, but it could have been great. Running back out of Auburn. That, that might start to give it away. And yeah, Ben's good at this. Bo Jackson. You're not looking these up, are you, Ben? 
he just maybe he just knows his sports. Yeah, Ni Nike Phil knows. Bo Jackson, he knows. Nike Phil knows. Bo knows. So this is his, it's a custom jersey, but there's the the Auburn kind of colors right there. Beckett witnessed. There's a nice autograph right there. And just and only played for the played for the Raiders. There it is, yeah. It's a custom jersey right there, but still pretty nice. Nick Stover has my Raiders. Love Bo Jackson as a Raiders fan. And just as a fan of sports in general, what a well, probably too young to really appreciate him, but he was he was pretty great. Highlight plays left and right. All right, two more to go. Ben says Manso looks like he could stop a freight train. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? What's he doing? I feel like he has like a, a sort of a rival to Frank Thomas's Nugenics company, or he's like something like that, something in nutrition. All right. Oh, okay. I know who you are. I think. Let me just make sure. Let me look at the serial number tag here. Yeah, this is a Nike jersey too. All right, get your thinking caps on. Who am I? What's he? What's he doing these days? He's a retired. Um, he's a retired running back. Uh, let's see. He's running some, uh, runs the Catch-22 Foundation, dedicated to underprivileged youth and adolescents in the Gulf South region. Owned a dealership. Didn't work out. Uh, part of the, uh, he's an athletic consultant at maybe his kid's high school or something like that. He's going to be a TV local TV analyst. Owns and operates a restaurant now. There you go. Anyway, he was drafted in 2001 with a 23rd pick overall. Played for only one team my entire career. Two-time Pro Bowler, a Super Bowl champion, was in first team All-SEC guy from Ole Miss. Ole Miss running back, drafted in the early 2000s, 23rd overall, one team his entire career. Ended up with 6,000 rushing yards. A little over 6,000 rushing yards, almost 6,100 rushing yards, 49 rushing touchdowns. Yeah, who am I? Yep, Ben again, Deuce McAllister, played for the Saints. He's pretty dynamic for, uh, for a good chunk of time. Right there, there's there's Deuce McAllister's autograph. That goes to Adam Kupperman, by the way, got randomized to Saints. There's the Dave and Adams authentication sticker, and you got another authentic, maybe his own authentication sticker right here as well. Nice, it's, it's, it's a Nike jersey, it's, it's worth pulling out here. So you got Got the Saints Fleur de Lis right here, the Nike swoosh on the side. There's the front. NFL shield in the middle. Doesn't have the retail tags on here. They must have taken them off, but pretty nice. David Adams card right there. There you go. All right, there you have it. Congrats once again to Adam and the Saints.
And the final one. Good luck, everybody. All right, see you, Jesse. All right, last one, folks. Thank you, everyone, for playing America's Favorite Game, Who Am I? This person played for one, two, three, four teams my entire career, including two bird teams. This is one of his bird team jerseys right here. He was a number one overall pick. Four-time Pro Bowler, an NFL Comeback Player of the Award winner, a Heisman Trophy finalist. I had 133 touchdowns to my 88 interceptions, 22,464 passing yards, 6,109 rushing yards, and 36 rushing touchdowns. Drafted in the early 2000s, number one overall. Who am I? All the other clues are going to be a little too obvious, I think. But if you, let's see if you can get it with that. Yep, Ray, William, Ben, Tyler's got it, Michael, Vic. Pretty dynamic player. This is Eagles edition of Michael Vic. There's the, all the JSA stuff right here. There's Vic on the back. Yeah, custom jersey right here. You know, got in some trouble, paid his dues, and I feel like, I feel like he's definitely... Paid his dues there. It seems to be all about making things right. There you go. Philadelphia Eagles, Colin McCarver with the Fly Eagles Fly. Nice, Michael Vick. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was a lot of fun. I did post another one of these, so we can chase some more, uh, some more first rounders. Another ten autographed jerseys to add to your collection. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Hit Parade. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye.